Yo, what is going on everybody? Dan Tram2 here and welcome to my tutorial series, Browser Noise. This is tutorial number one and the first thing we're going to do in this tutorial series is we're going to write some code to generate noise inside our web browser. And we're going to do that in less than one minute. And if you don't believe me, time yourself. And don't, don't just type really slow to prove me wrong type at normal speed and, and tell me if you can't do this in less than one minute. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up a new tab and point that browser to alpha.editor.p5js.org. Then you're going to hit enter and you're going to see a text editor like this. It might be a different color. Don't worry about that. Um, I will also, by the way, leave a link in the description if you want to click on that instead. Next, type exactly what I type. Let Mr. Noisy equal a new p5.noise object. And then somewhere inside the setup function, so in between these curly braces, we are going to write the following. Mr. Noisy, set the amp to 0.1. Mr. Noisy, please start. Open and close parentheses. Then you're going to hit the run button. Boom. Congratulations. You have just made noise in your web browser. The browser noise tutorial series is officially over. See you. I am just kidding. Of course, we're going to want to build much more interesting things in our browsers instead of just blasting our visitors with noise. That's a terrible website, actually. Um, but more importantly, I want to unpack what just happened. So let's rewind. First, I had you go to the current version of the P5 web editor. So this is like CodePen or a JavaScript playground. Um, it's perfect for us at first because I don't want to really talk about what IDE we should use and uh, typing in terminal and everything else. I just want to get right into the code, okay? So I'll eventually try to convince you all to probably use Atom in the future. But for now, let's just use this web editor. Okay, now let's look at this first line of code because a lot of stuff happens in this one line of code. First thing over here, when I say let Mr. Noisy, what I'm doing is I'm making what's called a declaration, okay? It's basically me saying, I declare that Mr. Noisy is a variable name that I plan to use. And by the way, I totally made that name up. Mr. Noisy is not understood by the browser to mean anything, nor is it a variable in P5. They're, they're usually a little bit more methodical and less cute with their naming conventions. So, so that's me. We could have named this Mrs. Noisy as well, of course. So the next thing I did is on this side, we have what new p5.noise and what that means is i'm calling a new instance of this pre-built object that uh actually kind of resembles a real life object such as a noise generator so uh, not that we all own noise generators but i want you to imagine that when you type this text what you're doing is you're calling this physical thing. It's a thing. It has certain functionalities. You can turn it on and off. You can alter the volume. You can switch what type of noise that it plays. So it is a thing that is pre-built. In this case, the, the good people at P5JS built it. And now that we can refer to this virtual noise generator, we can do what's called an assignment. And that is what that equal sign in the middle is there for. We're assigning a noise generator to this variable that we called Mr. Noisy. And now Mr. Noisy is a noise generator. And, and so you can, let's take a step back. That's a lot of you know terminology and stuff. Let's read the sentence as follows. Let Mr. Noisy be a new instance of a noise generator. Okay, so now that Mr. Noisy is a noise generator, what we can do is call commands or methods on Mr. Noisy, right? Uh, in the same way uh, with an Amazon Echo, you can tell Alexa 
to play Bodak Yellow by Cardi B, you can say Mr. Noisy, set the amplitude to 0 0.1. It takes in a number between 0 and 1. I didn't want you to blast your ears when you uh, made noise in under a minute, so I just had you set it to 0 0.1, a nice quiet noise volume. And then you can say Mr. Noisy, start. So that's how you turn on, that's like physically turning on the button. You can think of this process as you bought a noise generator from Amazon and you fell in love with this thing. You're, you're the type of person who needs noise in order to fall asleep. And so you fall in love with this thing. You become so attached to it, so much so that you gave it a little pet name, Mr. Noisy. And this, this noise generator happens to be voice activated. And now you can say, Mr. Noisy, amp 0 0.1. Mr. Noisy, start. Mr. Noisy, stop. Mr. Noisy, set the type to pink noise. And if you don't have all of Mr. Noisy's functionalities memorized, you can, of course, always look it up in the API. I use this all the time. I don't have everything memorized. So you go to p5js.org. Uh, go to references and then the sound library, which is where we'll spend a lot of time. Then we look at for the noise generator, right? Which is what we assigned to Mr. Noisy. And so here are the methods that we can call on Mr. Noisy. And you can see we've, we've already seen some of these, like the start method, the amplitude method. I'm sure you can imagine what the stop method does. There's also a pan, so you can set the pan between the left and right speakers. Connect and disconnect are going to allow you to route the signal. Um, but let's go ahead and look at this one called set type. We can actually, you know, by default, the type is white, uh, but we can set it to pink noise or brown noise as well. And we can click on set type to look at how we do that. All we do is call the set type method, and then in there we're going to input a string, so something in between single quotes, uh, and that something is going to be the word white, pink, or brown. So let's go ahead and try that out. We'll go over here, um, Mr. Noisy dot set type, and then inside here we'll say pink, and let's run that. Yeah, it's a lot warmer than the white noise, and then Let's try brown, run that. I, I, I think brown is the best noise, at least of these three. It's, it's, it's so much warmer. I'd much prefer sleeping to this sound than white. Let's, let's listen to white again. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with brown for now. That's all I have for this tutorial. What I recommend you do between now and the next one is do a few just, you know, small scale experiments. Like for example, give Mr. Noisy an amplitude of zero, maybe of one. Um, be careful with your ears though. Maybe change the type, maybe make three distinct generators. Each one will have a different name and maybe each one has a different type. Um, and then also I want you to look at, go to here and look at the keyboard shortcuts because this editor is pretty interesting. You First of all, you can press command enter to run the patch. You can also do th cool things like highlight one of your, one of the, the names. And if you want to rename, you know, Mr. Noisy to Mrs. Noisy or whatever, and you're thinking, well, I don't want to retype this out every for every time. You can actually press Command D D D D D and highlight them all and retype them all simultaneously, right? Um, or you can have it baby noisy. <laughs> um, there's also a really important um, command that you should absolutely remember, and that's Command forward slash or control forward slash, depending on what your what system you're on. But that's going to allow you to com comment out an entire line, which can be incredibly useful. Like for example, we don't need the draw function. So I'm gonna say command forward slash, and now we're not going to draw that canvas when we run the patch. So 
I'll see you in the next one. Later.